Hey, Bullet, are you gonna be recording in the studio with me? Look at you with your headphones, buddy. Why you look so sad? Bullet, why do you look so sad? Put your ears regular. <laughs> you got your headphones up, buddy. So, I was thinking this morning, as I've mentioned many times before, the current thorn in my side it has been TikTok and sponsorships. TikTok has been going really well. Uh, I'm really happy with it, but sponsorships have been a struggle. And I realized today, I was like, you know what? You don't have to be thankful for every struggle, but you can be thankful in every struggle. And what I realized for myself was like, you know what? I'm not necessarily thankful that I'm, you know, this is so frustrating, so hard, but I'm thankful that I'm in a the position, like you can find gratitude. So I found, I was like, you know what? I'm thankful that the channel is large enough and at a point now where I can even be looking for sponsors. I'm grateful that there's enough people viewing the channel where it'd be worth it for a sponsor. You know, I'm not necessarily f grateful for how frustrating and hard it is to get the sponsors, but I'm grateful that I'm in an opportunity to, you know, try and get these sponsors. So there can be gratitude found in every situation. So I'm currently heading to the PO box to see for two things one i know that a subscriber sent me something because they, they sent me like the, the tracking and they said that in you know, like they sent me a notification that it was delivered because i guess they had tracking on it which is very cool i'm looking forward to, to seeing what it is um and then hopefully maybe potentially ed sheer that sheer and package is coming i mean at this point what's today today is the march 2nd and i got the phone call on february 14th so that is over two weeks about two and a half weeks I don't know. At this point, I'm like, is it even ever gonna come? <laughs> Maybe not. You know, I have somebody, shout out to uh, Mo, I was talking to Mosum and he was like, be careful giving your address out. Thankfully, I gave the P.O. box, so, like I'm not really concerned about it. Uh, the only information I gave was my P.O. box address and my, um, my shirt size. But then again, I guess I did technically give my, uh, uh, phone number because I called the number at the bottom. I was like, is this a scam? So I called the number to see if it was a scam. So now technically I guess they have my phone number, but <laughs> who knows? I guess in their defense though, um, sometimes it takes me a while to send out my gift packages when I have people on the channel for interviews. Some of them like a month and a half to even send out. Um, just because, you know, but I don't know, I, I guess, yeah, I guess that's fair. It's just, I should share the same grace with them that they, uh, that I, I give to others. <laughs> so we got this cool package from a subscriber. Uh, I believe it is candles, if I, if, if I remember correctly from the conversation. Let's give this guy an open. Hey, keys can be used for more than one thing, right? All right, here we go. Moment of truth. We got good old... <laughs> I haven't seen these things in years, man. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what we got. Let's make it a mess. Oh, this is cool, man. This is cool. <laughs> I got these things all over my car. Comes with a note. This is sick, man. We got a note. We got these th things all over my car. Conrad Apothecary Candles. This is cool. Oh, this is cool. They use coconut wax as well. Biodegradable. This is sick. Let's see what the candles look like. Open this bad boy up. Oh, sick. They even got branding on the actual, actual thing. This is really cool. Oh, there's a bunch. Midnight rain and agave. This is sick. What else do we have? Oh, these are cool, man. My wife is gonna love these. Phantom flowers. This is cool. I think there's one more. Deep sea. Dude, these look great, man. These are sick. These are really cool. Shout out to another a fellow Jacob who was the one that met. Oh, and they have wood wicks. Wow. Oh, that's legit. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. This is really cool. We do have a pocket full <laughs> of these things. I apologize for the delay but uh, in the Ed Sheeran package, but I am just as excited as, as you guys are, honestly. That was really cool. Shout out to the fellow Jacob that sent me this, man. These are phenomenal. Jamie's gonna love these. They're really, really, really cool. So thank you. I love, this is so cool, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, genuinely. Honestly, those candles are sick and they actually smell like legitimately really good. And my wife was highly impressed with them. So shout out to you. Thank you so much for sending them. Very much looking forward to using them. So now I'm about to hop onto a Zoom call with my friend slash app designer slash website maker. Um, a couple things we want to go over and update on. So 
Alas. In the mail. Let's see what we got. Bullet, it's my new my new backpack, my traveling backpack, buddy. Yeah. My traveling backpack. Ah I keep breaking my backpacks. Actually yeah, actually two of them. So now we got a new one. This one's a big one. Because the, I don't know what's been going on, but like with these flights lately, you can't even you have to pay to bring a carry-on. Like it's like no bags at all. It's like yeah, it's like oh, oh, you've always had to pay for, for, for checked bags. But now not only do you have to pay for checked bags, you have to pay for carry-ons. So you can only bring a backpack. So I got a nice large backpack. With many compartments. Packaged very well. Wow. This is serious. It's like cool looking army bag. This thing is sick, man. This thing is really cool. So many different compartments. And this is cool too. It straps around you. It straps around you with a fanny pack, so you get a fanny pack. So if I put this on, just call me Jacob the Explorer right now. First of all, you can strap it across you if you wanted to. And second of all, you can strap this part around you. Uh oh. Need a little weight, huh? Oh, this seems a little high. I don't know why you'd want to strap it up here. I don't know, but you have fanny packs. So you can put your wallet right here. You know, the wallet situation over here. I don't like this. is weird, this part over here. Unless I'm doing something wrong. Maybe these need to pull down a little bit. It's very high. Here you go, the new backpack. So, in an attempt to continue practice my songs, and I really want to stay in touch with performing, one of the commitments I wanted to make this year was to do a live show every single month. Now, this will be the second month, um, continuing to up the quality, you know, so invite other musicians. I already spoke to my friend Emmanuel, uh, my friend Devin would be interested. So now it's just cool, like planning that stuff. But I figured for this month, I would do something um, where I, I get a practice singing live my Wish Bus song. So I have all the instrumentals ready, um, prepared, which is good. Uh, so I'll be able to practice my Wish Bus songs, maybe an extra song or two. But that being said, we are setting up out here. Um, I was gonna do it last night. Oh, you know what? Watch this, watch this, move, watch this, watch this. But uh, <laughs> I was gonna do it last night uh, with these set up, kind of giving a vibe in the dark, but I didn't feel like it. <laughs> So we're doing it today. Just do a couple songs, have a little fun with it. That's it. Have a vocal lesson in an hour. So we're gonna warm up my voice, practice maybe the song once or twice through in general, and then uh, record the videos. Although I just want to clean up a little. We don't need these seltzer cans in here. This is garbage. Clean up the area just a little bit. Clean up on set. Clean up on set. Got some more equipment over here. Got my light and these guys, these headphones, tangled up. This is gonna be good. <laughs> also got a dongle. Look at the difference a light makes. Watch this. Ooh. Well, obviously that's pointing the wrong way. Point it over here. That's very bright. All right, well, that's very bright. Put it over here. With the light. This is Jacob with the light, without the, wow, big difference. Without, with, big difference. All right, so I just finished my vocal warm up downstairs. That's pretty bright. Let's back this up. That's fine. So <clears throat> while I get ready, I am sending out a text to the people that live 35 miles, 43 miles, no, let's do 50 miles, 50 miles from Los Angeles airport. Text message that in, on my texting list that is 38 people. I'm gonna see if we, who's interested in potentially doing a uh, subscriber meetup when we're uh, when I'm in California. You know, maybe we'll, maybe Friday night we do a subscriber meetup. I'm gonna send a text out. Hey, I'm going to be in LA this weekend. Let me know. Send. Let's see. Test, test, test. 
Crashing, falling deeper, my darling. I think that sounds good. I need a sudden break. I'm picking up the pieces. I had I filmed the live live event, whatever you want to call it, and then I had my vocal lesson. And then I learned a lot of my vocal lesson too that I want to implement, like keeping my eyes open and taking the opportunity to recheck my breath during instrumental parts of the songs. So I, I actually went and refilmed the concert again. And now it actually was at night, night this time. So now I'm in the studio, I'm about to edit this, then I'm gonna have dinner with Jamie. And Jamie's gonna come down into the studio and we are going to record her version. Did mommy just sing a song in the studio with us? Yeah, mommy sang a song in the studio. We have everything featuring Jamie coming out. Okay, well I just finished editing the February concert. And I gotta be fully honest with you. Uh, <laughs> made me a little more nervous than I intended for the wish bus because it's not exactly where I want the vocals to be. But then again, I was standing and moving around, which I will be sitting um, and not moving as much. So that will help. Hey, it's out of my, I've done the best that I can. It's out of my control. So I think it's really funny that as a kid, we would limit your screen time and you would always complain that you wanted to be more, you know, more time on the screens and whatever you're doing, video games and TV and so on. And now your whole career and your whole life is in front of a screen. <laughs> uh, that's, that's pretty funny. ironic. It's funny how things turn out, man. <laughs> yeah.